Today we have the Competition Electronics Pocket Pro 2. Uh, this is a shot timer and counter. Um, you use it for competitions, you know, testing your speed, getting faster. Um, it's basic design, has a clip on the back. Um, one button to activate the shot timer. Um, you have your pretty obvious menu options here. Your set on, set off, turn off, on, on buttons on the front. It's powered by one single 9 volt battery, which actually came with it. That uh, usually doesn't happen with electronics these days, so that was kind of a nice touch. So this is one of the modes of the Pocket Pro 2. You uh, can do single shot mode, which is it'll only time your first shot. So if you press the button on the side, you'll hear the click, and then that simulates a shot. You'll see that it took 1.78 seconds to shoot. Uh, pretty simple mode. It's good if you just want to work on your quick drawing and shooting um, and accuracy at the same time. Okay, this is the screen you'll see us use most today. Um, it has probably the most information on it. Um, the bottom left, you'll see how many shots you took. The big number on the left at the top is going to be the total time it took for you to complete the shot segment. Um, so you can take four or five shots. That number at the top left is going to be your total time. Uh, first is obviously your first shot, and SPL stands for split. It'll show you the split in between each shot. Um, this is still on our test where we tapped on it, so this isn't going to be obviously indicative of any shooting we've done today. Uh, the delay is set at random and will adhere to the specifications you've preset in the settings. All right, this is one of the uh, menu screens where you can set your day, your date, time up. Uh, you'll hit this quite a bit if you accidentally hit the up and down buttons because you actually scroll through a lot of these. Um, so we'll go this way. Uh, you can see that this is your first shot and then you can see your split time if you were doing multiple shots, but since it's on single mode shot, this is all you'll see. This is your par time. Um, this is your shot delay. Uh, you can set it to random or you can set it to instant. Instant is if you have a second person generally and they control when your shot timer goes or your initiation goes off. Uh, I like to set it at random because then you can use it and there's no thought to it really. You just press the button and let it do its thing. This is your random start time. This is your minimum. There's a minimum and a maximum. So it'll at least take one second before the timer, shot timer will go off and you have to draw. The maximum set for us today was at five. Uh, it can go up. I'm not exactly sure what the maximum is, but we can find out. The maximum is 9.9 .9 seconds. So I can no longer click to go up. And then this is your battery condition. You go from low to full and just keep some extra nine volts on you. That's uh, your backlight. The, the blue backlight is, I tend to keep it at 10. Um, it can go higher. Um, you don't really need it much more than nine or 10 generally. Uh, this is your beeper. You can set it soft or loud. Uh, just keep it maxed out because you're gonna need it for your earphones unless you have mic earphones. And this is where you set what type of main screen you have. Um, this single time only was what we just saw. Uh, review direct, you'll be able to review your shots in an inline. Rounds per minute uh, shows you how many shots you have per minute. So we'll, this is your shot dead time. I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's your, your lag time. Um, this is your shot sensitivity. Uh, we tried it all the way to zero with a suppressed AR and it does not pick it up. Um, 13 will pretty much pick up any gun unsuppressed. I don't know why you would change it from the default 13. Uh, I don't know if some suppressors don't work as good as the one we had or, or what, but it just did not pick it up at all. We tried it on the lowest, we tried it on the highest, and it just would not pick it up. This is back to your main screen, and we'll cycle through this and go to this screen. Uh, this is all right, guys. So the Pocket Pro 2, really great product. Really enjoyed it. Um, two quick things I liked about it: the settings were really good and the customization in those settings were phenomenal you could go through i really like the the loud beep you can hear through headphones that aren't mic'd um, the only two cons i can really think of are the fact that you're not going to be able to pick up suppressed weapons which is not a big deal for most people that are using these three gunners you know people working on speed and accuracy and things like that and also the body is made out of you know a, a lighter plastic than i would like but at the same time you're not they're not made for you know heavy use you're not gonna throw it around you're not gonna do anything crazy with it so it works 
overall great product appreciate you guys watching